hi guys welcome to a new video so today is vlogmas day 20 i think i can never keep track anymore because we're so close to being done for today's vlog i wanted to do another more dedicated vlog because like i mentioned in the previous dedicated vlogs i did for vlogmas i feel like this kind of needs its own video because there's a lot to show and to talk about so as you can tell by the title and where i am sitting i'm going to be showing you guys my Whole entire jewelry collection I did film one of these videos about maybe a year and a half ago but you know my collection has changed I've gotten new pieces I've gotten rid of pieces and so I wanted to do an updated jewelry collection and this has been a request a few of you guys have asked me to do this so I wanted to show you guys all of the jewelry I own my favorite stores to shop my favorite kind of style jewelry um, and also how I store my jewelry and organize it so I'll talk a little bit about my setup how I store everything all that good stuff and I will try to link all of my jewelry pieces in the description as well as the little organizational things I have yeah I hope you guys are excited for this if you guys want to check out my original jewelry collection you can check that out I'll link it in my description okay so I'll start off with I guess the way it's organized so basically my biggest way of organizing my jewelry is by these stackers and I'm gonna show you guys an up close I'll go like in depth of everything that's in here but I got these stackers from the container store. It is one of my absolute favorite purchases that I've gotten. I think it was so worth the price because I believe it was a little bit pricey um, buying all these pieces and stacking them on each other. But it's just really helped me at organizing my jewelry. So yeah, from the container store and you purchase these units separately. So they're called stackers because you quite literally stack them upon each other and it's just such a really cool way to organize your jewelry so on the top like i said i'll do more like close up but for now i'll just show you guys like an overview so on top i have this little nice one it has a lid on it and on the top here i keep all of my i'm gonna use my head to hold it up <laughs> on the top i keep all my rings up here and I also have all my little like charms for necklaces up here. Kind of just like a random mix. I also have my earrings up here that are missing their pair. I don't want to throw away, you know, the earring. And I think, you know, the pairs are laying around somewhere in my apartment or in one of my purses. So I just keep them up here. So if I ever find it, though, the other one will be there. Um, I have like some hair clips. I have some more rings here. These are more of my like fun plastic rings up here so I really love this top piece um, because you can just put so much in it and this is also where I store all my rings I have a lot of rings so that's the top one and also with these stackers you can customize it how you want this is not how it came I like I said I purchased all of them separately and you can buy as many of the same style as you want so this one here is for my earrings you can buy as many as you want I only have one because I don't have that many earrings and you know they're all different designs this one is for like bracelets and you know watches and stuff like that so again you can buy as many as you want stack them up as tall as you want that's what's really great about these so yeah this one is the second one i have this is all of my earrings all of my little like studs and smaller earrings are down there all of my like more like statement earrings are in the middle and this is just the perfect um amount of slots for me because like i said i don't have that many earrings um, so yeah, there's that one and then the one right under that is where I keep my watches, all my bracelets, um, all my bangles, all of that kind of stuff. And then the bottom is really just kind of an etc. I got this just because I wanted, you know, a slot to have random stuff, literally the most random stuff. Like I have like jewelry box holders, uh, sunglasses, I don't know why. I probably need to organize this bottom compartment a little bit better but it's nice and thick so you can fit a lot of stuff in here if you have jewelry boxes that you do want to keep this is a perfect place to put them you could also put like more necklaces or whatever those are all for the stackers i seriously am so obsessed with them and you know it's just a really nice way to organize that's that container store i will link that so the next organizational piece i have is my necklace stand this is from Amazon for like $12, super affordable. And then I also have my watches down here on the bottom. You probably can't see it, but I'll show you guys in a minute. And then I have these two little trinket trays. And this one, I literally just picked up from Target in the dollar section. This is $1. 
I love how clean and sleek and classy it looks. So on these two trinkets, I put my kind of like most recent worn jewelry. You know, if I have jewelry I, I want to take off, I come in and I just kind of like throw it in here. So these may not be the most organized. Um, but in this one, I have all of my most recent rings. I wear a lot of rings and um, these are the ones that I kind of wear most often. And then in here is where I would usually put my bracelets that I take off or put on. I have just a few on here right now. But yeah, that's what those two trinkets are and that's really it. I don't have like a huge jewelry collection. I feel like I have just enough where I'm able to wear all my pieces regularly and not just overdo it and hoard jewelry. So before I show you guys a close-up of everything, I wanna just name my favorite jewelry stores. The most common places I shop for my jewelry are number one, Amazon. They really do have high quality jewelry. If you take care of your jewelry, you know, like don't shower in it, don't get it wet often and it won't tarnish. Um, a lot of my little hoops, a lot of rings I get from them. So Amazon, I love. Nordstrom is another place I get a lot of my jewelry. I get a lot of my um, Goriana, that's a brand of jewelry. I love that brand. I get a lot of that from Nordstrom directly. I get a lot of my Adina's from Nordstrom as well. Adina's is another jewelry line I love so much. I also love Vanessa Mooney. I get a few of my pieces from them. Ana Luisa, I love, love, love. I think like 50% of my jewelry is from Ana Luisa. Those are the most commonly places I shop for jewelry, but I kind of shop around. I do like to shop from like Etsy as well, small businesses. I think small businesses have the cutest jewelry that are really good quality as well. So here again is my jewelry setup. So I'll start off with the stackers and I'll try to go through all of my jewelry pieces and tell you where I got everything. Um, so okay, these little clips I got from Target. I don't know why they're here, but I think they look cute in here, so that's why they're there. These are the etc. earrings. These are both from Amazon. These are two of my favorite earrings that I wear so often, so that's why I'm so sad I can't find the other one. Honestly, if I can't find it, I'm gonna just repurchase from Amazon because they're so cute. Um, but yeah, they're really good quality and so so cute. This little one I absolutely love as well. So sad that I lost the other one, but that's from Ana Luisa. I love this shape of a huggy. I just think it's so unique and so chic. So I'm really into huggies, as you'll probably see um, throughout this video. And then these are all my plastic rings that I kind of wore during the summertime, just, just to have fun. Um, I don't normally wear these. This is more for like fashion. All these rings here, honestly, I think are kind of cheap. Like this is my cheap side. I got these rings, I think from like Forever 21 or Shein, just like a super cheap place. And honestly, I don't recommend buying jewelry from them because they do not last long. But I mean, they still look good. If I ever wanted to wear like a random ring like this, um, you know, I just wanted to have it on hand to have, like this one isn't bad. That one's like kind of cute actually. Little dainty, minimal pieces like that. I kind of like how that looks. I'm gonna keep that on. So yeah, just like my middle ones. Oh, this one is actually from Amazon. I really love this one. This is from a specific line. It starts with a P and I can't remember the name, but they make really good rings and earrings and this one is really small so I always put this one on my pinky. Yeah, I love this ring. It kind of is like diamonds, not real diamonds obviously, but like crystals and gold. Over here I have charms for my necklaces. I love this Louis Vuitton lock. I got this from, I believe Trade Z for like $80. It's kind of heavy though, so you need a really strong chain to wear this. I need to buy a new chain, that's why I haven't worn it in a while. I used to have a nice chain for this, but it kind of broke, <laughs> so I need to find a new one, but I love this. And then I have two crucifixes in here. One of them is mine, one of them is Anto's. I can't remember whose is who. But one of them, whichever one is mine. So this actually was my mom's. So I do believe this is um, 14 karat or 18 karat gold. So I asked her if I could have it. And this was like my go-to necklace. I used to wear this every single day for like seven years. I haven't worn it in a while because like I said, I need to get a new chain for my charms. These are actually earrings. These are like little cuffs you put on your ear. One is from Anna Luisa, one is from a small business. Uh, I think it's actually from this um, jewelry shop called Shape Studio. And then I have a few of these rings. These are both from Etsy and they are like little chains. Yeah, super cute. So I have two of those. Um, and then this ring I actually just picked up recently from a small business. Love that one. This is from the small business Salud La Gem. So moving over here, these are my more like nicer rings I could guess you can say. I have this one here from Ana Luisa. This is a really commonly worn one. This is my Dior ring. I love it, except I don't recommend it because the little like gem that was here fell out. I mean, because I wore this like every day. I never gave it a break. Um, these rings really aren't worth the money in my opinion because you know, they're not real gold um, and they're just so expensive. You're really just getting what you pay for the brand name. Um, but I still love it. I still wear it even though the gem is missing. Like, no one notices. And then I have this little initial one here. I can't remember where I got this. I think this is from Etsy. 
Um, so I have that one. This one is Goriana. This is another little initial, like, plated one. I love that one. Yeah, that one is Goriana. This one I also just picked up recently from a small business from uh, Blush and Bliss is what they're called. This one is a really pretty one. I think this is actually from, like, Forever 21, but I like the little, like, crystals on there. That one is Amazon. So since we're talking about rings, I'll go ahead and show you guys my most commonly worn rings and where they're from. So this one I picked up from Amazon. This is one of my favorite rings. It's like a nice chunky, hearted, uh, plated one. I love that one. It's so cute. And then I have this like kind of bar one. This one is from Amazon. And this, honestly, I, th I feel like most of these are from Amazon. This is another Amazon one. It's like a nice little like skinny, um, minimal one. This one is Amazon. This one, oh, wait, my fake Cartier. <laughs> this is from Amazon as well. This one, Amazon. I love this. It kind of um, reminds me of like the Tiffany's one. I have this little initial, or uh, not initial, um, what do you call it? Like a Roman numeral one. Oh, this is from a, a jewelry shop called Peach. The peach something. I got this like years ago. If I can't find the exact store or remember the exact store, I will still link a very similar one, just FYI, because a lot of these I'm just now realizing I don't remember where I got it. Oh, this one is also Ana Luisa. Love this one. I like this because it's adjustable, so I can wear this on any finger. This one is like another sentimental one because this was actually my mom's as well. This one is real gold. I do wear this quite often. So my favorite type of style of earring is more of like a small, minimal, like huggy, type of earring kind of like these these are from etsy um these are from anna louisa these are really pretty um these are like a little pearl drop oops pearl drop earring very cute these ones i love as well i think these are also from anna louisa it's kind of like a double hoop huggy so cute these little heart ones these are from the shape studio as well these are from amazon these are little like safety pin earrings i thought they were so unique and so cute those are I think Express actually a while ago. These are Amazon. Um, these are some more Huggies. Yeah, some cute little like crystal ones. I love these little drops, drop link one. These are from Adina's. Oh, these ones I believe are from Ana Luisa. Cute little heart ones. And I got those earrings and this necklace together to match. I think I got that during Valentine's Day around that time. And then I have these other cute little um, minimal Huggies. These are from Etsy. They have a little key on them. I think they're so cute. And then I also have these. I love little dainty earrings like these. But basically it's like a little like chain that you like wrap around your earlobe. Um, it's hard to describe, but yeah, I love little dainty ones like that. I got these ones, I believe, from a small business as well. And then these ones, I've had these forever. I don't really wear these, but I just keep them just in case for like Christmas time or like New Year's or like a special occasion. These are from like Boohoo. These are, oh, these are kind of cool. I got these, I believe, from Express. You like cuff it up to your ear and... It's just one of those like kind of unique ones. I have more of my statement earrings here and my hoops. Honestly, I don't really, like that's not really my thing anymore. But I keep these on hand just in case, like if I ever go, I don't know, somewhere tropical, like to Bali or on vacation. I feel like these are so like tropical beach appropriate. So these are from Express. These ones are from J. Crew. Oh gosh, I don't know where I got these. It might be from Express. These ones are from Boohoo. They're like wooden. And then I have more of my hoops over here. I have these like simple gold ones. These are from Madewell. These are from Forever 21. I bought these years ago to wear on New Year's Eve. And honestly, they're just so glam. I love them just in case, again, if I ever want to wear glam hoops. I also have these little minimal hoops. Um, I think these are from Amazon. And then these ones I got from Adina's. This is my very first Adina's purchase. Um, back in like 2015 or 2016 and like they held up so well. It's been like five six years I've had these and then I have these I remember when these are like so popular like a few years ago I don't think they're that in anymore, but I still love them These are from Zara and then I got these ones also these little cross crosses from boohoo I picked up these two most recently from small businesses. These are from Salud La Gem and then these ones are from blush and bliss. I love the Cuban chain hoop uh, huggy design. So next I will show you guys my bracelets. There's there's really not many here because honestly the most commonly worn bracelets are on my wrist right now. But I have a few chains. Mostly I get them all from Amazon, Anna Luisa. This tennis bracelet I think is so pretty. That's from Amazon. That's good quality. Um, that's Amazon. That's I believe Anna Luisa. This is like a Cuban chain link but it also has like diamonds in the middle. Etsy. I got a lot of my bracelets from Etsy like my essential like uh, link bracelets like this. This is like a random one I got from, 
Express. I never wear that. Um, here's another little chain link one. And then in here I have my like stretchy bracelets. I was really into these type of bracelets in the summertime because I got so lazy and I hated like clamping and unhooking my bracelets. So I just wanted like quick bracelets to like throw on. So these are all from Target actually. I have some of my watches. That's Anto's watch. My Michael Kors watches from back in the day. I got this like in 2012. I don't wear these but I just keep them on hand just in case. Maybe I'll sell them one day. Oh, I do have this um, Car another Cartier fake one, but it has like little sparkles in the middle. I, I believe I bought this from a boutique. I have this bracelet. That's from Etsy. We have some random charm bracelets. This one is Ana Luisa. My little paper clip bracelet with the charm in it. This is from Etsy. These I think are from, oh the peach box. That's the name I was trying to um, think of. So that Roman numeral ring I showed you guys earlier, it matches this bangle. And I got both of them from the peach box. So pretty, right? There's another kind of like fake Cartier, but this one has like a little buckle on it. So cute. This one is from Artisan Jewelry. So that's where I get a lot of my jewelry from as well. I believe I did get that. This one from there too. And then also I have this nail one here. Wrap around nail. So I got that from Artisan Jewelry as well. So we're talking about bracelets. So I'll show you guys this one. This is from Vitaly. I just picked this one up recently. This is a unisex bracelet. And then I have this. I'm not even going to, yeah, it's just a bunch of random stuff. So that's pretty much all for my stackers. So I'll show you guys my necklaces. Really like kind of like chunky chains like this. But I also like the really dainty minimal. This one is from Nordstrom. This is one of my favorite ones because it's kind of more flat. So it's like more comfortable to wear. This is another really chunky one. And I believe this one is from Ana Luisa. This chain came with this heart pendant. This is from an online retailer called About Lion, but this has an S on it too. This little twisted necklace is from Forever 21. I got it this summer, it's like $2. This one is from Nordstrom as well. Down we have some like dainty like charms. Like I have this little like circle pendant. It's just like a plain circle pendant. There's nothing on it, but this one is from Ana Luisa. This one I believe is Ana Luisa. Or Goriana, one of those. This is just a plain chain. Like, look how dainty and minimal it is. This is, I believe, 18 karat gold. I got this from Adina's. It was on sale during Black Friday. It was like 50% off, so I took advantage. I have this Swavarsky. I can never say that name, but I have this tennis um, necklace from them. This was an anniversary gift from my boyfriend. And then this one is a little blank bar. I got this from Ana Luisa. And this one, that one is also from Ana Luisa. This one is another initial necklace. This is from Abbott Lion as well. I do have another one from them. Yeah, this is the other necklace I have from Abbott Lion. It's like this circle pendant. And I have this little kind of dual layered chain. I got this from Vitaly. This was actually, if you guys watch my vlogs and watch me every day, um, this is actually my everyday necklace. I never took this off. I showered in it, I slept in it, and it's held up really well. I have this choker. This has my name on it. Um, it says Steph, S-T-E-F-F. -F. This is from Etsy. It's like a little choker. I haven't worn this in a while, but I think it's so cute. This one is from Ana Luisa. Has a little, what would you, what is that? Like a moon or? I got a lot of questions about this necklace. This one is from Etsy. It's one of those like square plated initial necklaces. So cute. A lovely brand sent this to me from Etsy. They were so sweet and they sent me this. I love that one. I used to wear that one like every day. This next one is another little charm. I believe from a small business on Etsy. I love the little like hook like that. And then the last one on this side. Oh, I love this little teardrop gem one. This is from Vanessa Mooney. I love this one because it's like pretty minimal but still like kind of a statement necklace. It's just so pretty. So and then on this side I have a actually I don't really use many of these. <laughs> I have like this paper clip chain from Etsy. I have a couple of like really old chains that I don't really know why I still have them because I don't wear them but I got them probably like 10 years ago um, from who knows where. Um, I have this necklace. This is from Goriana. This last one is another random chain choker. Honestly, I probably don't really want this anymore. And I showed you guys already these two little trinkets. And then down here, I have my commonly worn watches. I just picked up this watch. I love it so much. It's from Amazon, but it kind of is like a, they're like replicating or imitating the 
um, Rolex one. This is like $40. It's pretty good quality. Um, it works good. It's cute. It matches with all my outfits. I really wear watches mainly as like accessories because I don't really use watches anymore since I don't really go into the office anymore. Um, and then this one is a really pretty rose gold one from Daniel Wellington. But I don't really wear many rose gold jewelry pieces, so it doesn't really match with anything. But it's still really cute. I totally forgot to show you guys the jewelry that I'm currently wearing because a lot of the pieces I'm wearing are like my everyday favorite, favorite jewelry pieces. I have these two bracelets from Goryana. This kind of like bottle cap chain one I think is so cute. It definitely is more of like a statement piece, but I think it's just so pretty. And then this also is from Goryana. This is like their signature class. And it's like a really delicate, pretty beaded bracelet. I love that one. And then these two I picked up recently. This one is from Adina's. And I love this like diamond plated bracelet. So pretty. And the chain is just so minimal. So it's pretty minimal aside from this big piece right there. But that's why I love it. And then the other bracelet I have on is this really dainty, very, very dainty, minimal bracelet. This is also from Medina's. Those are my pretty much everyday most worn bracelets. And then this ring I love. Got this from Vanessa Mooney. It's like a heart diamond. I wore this on my ring finger in one of my videos and you guys thought I was engaged. Sorry for mistaking you. And then for my necklaces, this dainty initial one is from Adina's. So pretty. And then this one is from Goryana as well. So yeah, you guys, that's all for my jewelry collection. I hope you enjoyed that. So like I said, I'll try to link everything. I'll definitely link all the organizational pieces, but for a lot of the jewelry pieces, um... I either need to like remember where I got it or find similar ones, but definitely check out my previous jewelry collection video because a lot of the stuff that I showed is linked there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.